A recovery effort is underway for a woman in the Miami River. Officials have been looking for a 30 year old woman since 2.30 in the morning. CBS News Miami Steve Majiri has the latest on that investigation. Witnesses say that woman jumped into the Miami River around 2.30 in the morning, and it was hard for officials to search for her at first because the current was too dangerous for divers. Isela Vasquez saw the sirens from her window. She took this video of a search for a 30-year-old woman that was in the Miami River. She was horrified at what she saw. No, I cannot imagine. I can't. I can't imagine because we saw that before, like two years ago. Officials spent three hours searching for her after the call came in around 2.30 a.m. Other agencies rushed to assist. At this point, any units responding to advice, we do not see any signs of uh, life in the water. Crews shined lights into the water, but the currents were too rough to send divers in to find her. Very bad. Windy, very windy at that time. At the, like right now, it's not as much as last night. Neighbors tell me the current can get really rough here just before the river empties into the bay. It gets real choppy. It, it gets real bad. I mean, if you get some shots right now, you can see it gets real choppy. It's bad. Especially right now with this uh, wind, with this weather, it's so bad. The Coast Guard, Miami Police, and Miami Fire Rescue continue their scouring of the waters for the woman into the morning. But the current still delayed their diving. They believe the woman may be dead, since this is now an attempt at a recovery. Officials said there may have been an altercation that happened before the woman jumped in the water. The Coast Guard is leading this investigation and is getting help from Miami Fire Rescue and Miami Police. The reason why that woman got in the water in the first place is still under investigation. In Miami, Steve Majiri, CBS News Miami.